Hi, right, I'm the Birdman of Lauderdale. It's a beautiful winter's day here in downtown Lauderdale, Minnesota. A lot of people feed birds during the winter and that's very important, but just as important and maybe even more so is to provide water for them. This is the bird bath that we have in our yard. As you can see, it's mounted on the edge of a planter. It could also be mounted on a deck railing. The, the bath has a thermostat in it that keeps the water above freezing even as the air temperature drops. But there are two important things I want you to remember about installing a winter bird bath. First of all, be sure you have a grounded outdoor outlet. That should be installed by a qualified electrician. It's not a do-it-yourself job. Secondly, the bath is going to get filled with seed and droppings over time and you'll have to be diligent about cleaning it. I use a good stiff brush like this to scrub it out, rinse it out, and then refill it with clean water. Some people like to use a cleaning solution that's available at bird stores. Personally, I just use water and elbow grease. Here's a satisfied customer in the heated bird bath in my yard on a cold winter's day. Check out my blog for more ideas on keeping birds happy and safe in the winter. And happy birding! Clay Christensen's book, The Birdman of Lauderdale, is a great way to introduce your friends to the joys of birding. Order it at birdmanbook.com.